thank you for watching. Today is about saying thank you. It's about etiquette rules and the incredible value of a thank you card. I'm Marcus Freed. Welcome to Marcus Recommends. This is where we share great ideas and we celebrate life. It's unscripted, it's unbiased, and it's coming to you live from Los Angeles. Today I want to tell you about some etiquette rules and the idea of a thank you card. Now, the idea of etiquette rules is a little bit grandiose because right now we're in a little bit of an in-between age. When I was younger, my mother was really strict that I had to write thank you cards. Myself and my sister, if we received birthday presents, certainly after big events like uh, my bar mitzvah, um, whenever people gave gifts, we'd actually have to take the time to send a thank you card. Now, in today's way of being, often thank yous can come through little emails, people might text something, they might say nothing at all. But there's actually a way that this can really make a difference for your business, for your relationship, whether it's your personal, social, or indeed your business relationships, and the way that you're coming across to other people. If you think about this for a moment, when you've bought someone dinner, or when you've invited a guest over, or when you've done something for someone else, how does it feel when you're actually acknowledged, when someone takes the time to thank you, takes the time to point out how much they appreciated your gift, how much they appreciated the time that you spent with them? Now, there are various different ways these thank yous can come through. You can get it digitally, you can get it written, you can get it verbally, but it really makes a difference. And the key difference is this. Now, this might not sound like rocket science, but it is valuable and it is worth being conscious of and taking some note of. You see, when you send a written thank you to someone, whether it's acknowledging I don't know, a client who bought you lunch, or whether it's acknowledging a friend, whether it's just really wanting to connect with someone, you enjoyed your time at their party, at their reception, they thought of you. When they received this thank you card from them, it shows that you took time, you took time to think about it, you took time to write it, to, to get the card, to mail the card, to put the stamp on, to do all these various different actions. And most importantly, and this is the big secret, which isn't such a secret, but many people seem not to be aware of it, is that it actually marks you out as someone who's worth paying attention to. It marks you out as someone who really cares about them and takes the time. I've been having various friends over for social events recently, for lunches and so forth, and I can honestly say that of the last 50, 60 people I've had in my house, only one person has sent me a thank you card. Now, it might be that it's not expected etiquette. I certainly didn't expect the thank you card. When I received it, I was really thrilled. Wow, they've made all this effort to actually write a personal note. So we often think that when we're trying to create an impression with someone else, we have to do various big gestures, whether it's taking gifts, whether it's trying to stand out. But actually, it's often these little gestures which can really make the difference. And the power of this small gesture, this little etiquette piece of writing a thank you card, is that it actually just shows you're the one who cares, shows that you're the one who takes time. And if this is a potential business relationship that you're looking to nourish, well, it can really have some great knock-on effects. It can show that if this is the way that you interact on a day-to-day -day level, this is someone that, the, that they're gonna work, want to work with. So it can really actually inspire people to want to work with you. So today, Marcus recommends writing thank you cards. Now, if you enjoyed today's show, you don't have to write a thank you card. You're welcome to, it's definitely more powerful than a text and an email. But what would be really cool if you want to show some gratitude is to share this with your friends. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's in one of these corners. And I look forward to seeing you soon. So I'm Marcus Freed. Thank you for watching. Be happy, stay happy, and celebrate life. See you again.